In what seemed to be a once friendly relationship between two apostles with utter respect from both sides came scandals, controversies and doctrines that ultimately caused the separation of two acclaimed apostles. So you come out and say God called you to correct people. You must have proven your ministry for at least 50 years for us to listen to you. At least 50 years! You cannot come out and say you are an authority. What, have, what do you have on ground that we should listen? Where is your evidence? Produce evidence! 50 years of unblemished ministry that we all can sit down and listen. No, you are still starting. You are just starting. So the relationship between Aromosai and Suleiman was seemingly not known in the broader space of light because Aromosai was not known or had not yet gained popularity until 2021 when this video surfaced. When you see where men live and where men are domiciled, where they operate from, and yet do the kind of things they do, it just gives you a level of gratitude to God, very gratifying. Glory be to God. Apostle Osai, God bless you. Thank you very much for being here. Amen. Now a deep dive into their relationship revealed how the sons of Arumi, including Joel and Michael Oroko Reverend Suleiman, proving they all loved and looked up to Johnson Suleiman during the early 2015-16 period, to the extent of visiting Suleiman in a now deleted picture. But down the line came a series of controversies with Suleiman being involved in scandals, which got out of hand with different ladies coming out with evidence accusing Suleiman of sleeping with them. Hey, so People were like, ah, why would a man of God, an anointed man of God, use policemen to harass a lady and put her in prison without trial? Only for the lady in prison you know, to tell the whole world that she had an affair with uh, the man of God for a whole year. We were like, no way, no way, the devil is a liar. <laughs> Once again, everything is allegedly, allegedly, so don't let anybody quote me. She said that Suleiman was giving her thousands of dollars and taking her around the world and that they were doing it together. This man licks me from head to toe. He said I make him in, we live in a world where people play games everywhere. People play gimmicks. It's the gimmicks we should be against. This was then followed with a back and forth series involving Ubert, who, being part of the scam, claimed Apostle Ramosai does not deserve to be called an apostle. I thank God for these apostles. I'm sorry to call them apostles, but I have to. Just because of the decorum in the Christian world. You have to call people who are not apostles apostles. That is a problem with miracle money. And ending here would have been good, but we had Suleiman come out with a blow, calling our Mosai a preacher who became known because of COVID, aka a COVID preacher, which our Mosai did not hesitate to respond in a long line of notes. The church is now full of busy bodies. It wasn't so 10 years ago. Take your eyes from anybody's salvation. How anybody, I'm telling you the truth. You really see young men raised up these days. And when I say young men, I don't mean social media young men of God. There are COVID men of God. COVID. They became popular through COVID. Everybody was at home. That's how they became popular. We call them COVID preachers. <laughs> and the impression he gives is that Apostle Aramu Osai is a COVID preacher. Now in conclusion, there does not seem to be any relationship in motion now. Since Joe and the others have stopped talking about Suleiman due to his insults, associating with men like Hubert Angel, Passion, Java and more others who are widely known to have fake miracles down to his reoccurring scandals which Aramosai does not want to associate himself with. Bringing us to the end of a relationship between two apostles, a question of association, scandals, fake miracles and integrity. Cross their leg and be marking where you are in your walk with God. The other one saw me the other wrote on the other day and said, the kind of people this man is mingling with, he will soon fall into error. I laughed. Me, I know my calling. I'm not a pastor. I'm a revivalist. I'm sent to the body. The good, the bad, and the ugly. When I meet the good, I strengthen their faith. When I meet the bad, I convict them by the word. When I meet the ugly, I bring the judgment of God until they repent. In such organization that people create different factions, I'm not a factionist person. I'm sent to the body. That's why Jesus saw Zacchaeus. He said, come down, today I'm coming to your house. Tomorrow you see Jesus in a banquet with the Pharisees. Banquet. The worst set of people in the damn world were tax collectors and Pharisees. They looked at him, they said he's a friend of publicans. This is a fake prophet. When the harlot came and poured perfume on his leg, they said, ah, if he's a prophet, he should have known that this is a harlot. 
Jesus said, those who are well don't need a doctor. It is those who are sick that need doctor. I know my calling. I'm a revivalist. I'm not a pastor. If I'm a pastor, I'll go and look for the people that preach my kind of message. I'm sent to the body. That's why we mingle with genuine people. We also mingle with fake people. We are the salt of the body. If we create faction, some people will be lost forever. And they will not just be lost. Their congregation will be lost. So if I enter the camp of the fake people, even if they refuse to repent, because not everybody Jesus met repented. Zacchaeus repented. Judas never repented. But even if they choose to, choose not to repent, at least some of their followers will hear us. And they will know that what their papa is saying is fake. <laughs> That's why we mingle with everybody. And so if you think we lose our calling by mingling with people, you have not seen anything. Because this man talking here, I can even enter a heavenly shrine. The Christianity of self-preservation. You want to preserve your name and be a good person. Some of us don't have a name. We are called apostles. That's our work. And if you think that I don't know Jesus enough, that I meet a fake prophet or a fake believer and he will convert me, then I need to stop preaching and go back. That means I didn't graduate from the school of the spirit. Checked, and I've heard the whispers of the enemy and the plans he has concerning my life. So I've also made plans. If it's only the devil, <laughs> for many of us, it's only the devil that is planning because you are oblivious of the plans of darkness. I have made plans also, and in keeping with my plans, the invitations I'm going to accept in 2022 are only from genuine men of God. Men that if I go before God, God says, yes, my son. Then I'm willing to respond to those invitations because I have received intelligence about the intention of the kingdom of darkness. Do you understand it? Part of the reason why God raised us as a ministry to raise the standards, to establish a plumb, a plumb, an apostolic plumb line. The body of Christ, we have wizards as pastors. We have former practitioners of divination and we suit on the pulpit trying to speak English. We have evil men saying Jesus and they will not leave the name of Jesus. Do you understand that? So God, the, the cure to it is that God will raise original people that have not bowed themselves to the God of the age, the God of mammon, the God of performance, the God of lies. People that are in active service with the law. And when you see them, you will know the difference. Are you with me? And so the devil will fight to corrupt that possibility. Just like the kingdom of darkness wanted John the Baptist out of the way because he was the only one that, that stood for the truth. His voice was not bought. If you don't know what Satan wants to achieve around your life, you will play into his arena. So the first thing that God raises a watchman to discern is to know the plans of the kingdom of what? Yeah. So every year I seek intelligence. Are you with me? If you are, if your God is invitation, you will fall. If your God is money, if your God is fame, you have fallen already. If your God is popularity, you can you cannot be quiet. You can't operate from the background. You must say, I want to have vision. They will invite you. BBC will invite you. And that invitation will be the end of you. So part of the reasons why you need to receive intelligence is so that you can build your own siege against the siege of the devil. Please help me tell your neighbor. Don't let not Satan be the only one planning. You have to plan also. And I tell you, by the special mercy of God, we will disappoint Satan that again. Stealing in the name of the Lord. Shalom, child of God. Welcome back, my people. New subscribers, thank you so much for joining me. Returning once, I appreciate your support. Thank you so much, I'm grateful.
my people please i need your assistance i need your support please i'm facing a lot of challenges on youtube please pastor john anna ck vowed to chase me out of youtube he has terminated my four youtube channels please i need your assistance with copyright strike please all this thing because i don't have much subscribers please help me to subscribe to my channel if i can get at least 1000 subscribers the intimidation will stop please help me to subscribe okay Thank you so much. Please, let's go into this. I want to appreciate Legic TV. Legic, thank you so much for putting this together. I will put the link of the full video. I will put the link on the description. Okay? If you're on YouTube, I will put the link on the description. Child of God, here is Aroma. There is a video where Aroma says, praise uh, Apostle jo uh, Johnson Suleiman, where he talk about uh, how one prophet, thank God, how one prophet and God was the first prophet discussing with the demon, uh, calling phone numbers and others. Why Apostle Johnson Suleiman is a gentleman of God. So if I'm able to put the video here, fine. If I couldn't put it, please bear with me. Okay? But you can watch it on YouTube. It's there on YouTube. If I can put it here because I don't want this video to be long. Child of God. Bible says, Apostle Paul says, he said, follow me. As I follow Christ, follow me as I follow Christ. Okay, this is first Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. He said, Follow me as I follow Christ. Meaning, stop following me if I stop following Christ. Follow me as I follow Jesus. Follow me as I live life of holiness. Follow me as I live. Life worthy of repentance. But anytime I stop following that man they call Jesus. Please don't follow me because it's dangerous. I am no longer worthy to, for you to follow me. Follow me as I follow Jesus. Be ye holy for I am holy says the word of God. Child of God. This, the lesson of this teaching is this. You that is following your pastor. Your pastor was genuine. I, you were following him, your pastor dropped the genuity and turned to somethingness because of his, because of worldliness or because of what you gain or anything. Please stop following such pastor. Okay? Stop following such pastor. Don't follow a pastor that is not going where you are going through. If your target is to meet Jesus, if your target is to live holy life, if your target is to, is to live life of righteousness, if heaven is your zeal, Please, don't follow a man that is not going where you are going to. Now, if you are going to a particular place, maybe you, have, you see somebody that is going there, you now follow the person that is moving. As the person is going, you are following the person. And you now find out that the person stop going there. The person changes his mind and starts and start going somewhere else. Child of God, will you keep following such person? Of course, no, because the person is not going where you are going to. Okay? The person has changed his mind. The person is no longer going where you are going through. So, what is best of you, what is this, uh, expected of you, is to change your mind as well. And start going where you are going through. Don't deviate, just be focused. Now, here is Apostle John Suleiman, who happened to be a, a, a brother or brother in the Lord or a friend to Aroma. You know, there's one life Aroma is living. Aroma believing, follow me as I follow Christ. I remember believing, don't stop following me as I stop following Jesus. Okay? Now, Apostle Joseph Suleiman, according to them, according to Aroma, according to Aroma's calculation, he's no longer following Jesus because of numerous scandals. And Aroma is the type that hates all these scandals of a thing. Aroma came out some time ago and said that any pastor, that is even one, what is trending now, any pastor, any any girl that is sleep with should go to Facebook and cry and expose him. So he hates that immoral life. He hates that immoral whatever. Okay? Jesus is now look at when he found out that uh, Apostle Joseph Suleiman has plenty of scandals that time. I remember began to draw himself. And he said this kind of thing. And after him. 
Jesus said to disciples, he said, Then Jesus said unto them, in Matthew chapter 16, verse 24, he said to them, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Let him deny himself. You cannot be a pastor and be having all sorts of scandals. You cannot claim to be a pastor and you are not having all sorts of scandals. All the ladies lie against you. Okay, sir. The miracle money is also, and you believe in miracle money. Miracle money also lie against you. Yes, sir. All sorts of things. For me, Apostle Joseph Suleiman is not a man that I know on social media. I told you guys this time to that number when Apostle John, uh, John, Pastor John Anasik has not terminated my channels. I have this, I have talked about it. How I knew Apostle Joseph Suleiman offline. Okay. The message you sent to them that time and we were abused by the church members. How dare you to talk to me? It was not even up to how dare you guys to talk to us. Our papa, we are disgraced and chased out. It pains me. That is why when I look at him now online, my hands are tied because I can't fight Apostle Justin Suleiman. No, sir. I can't fight him. I can't fight him. I can't fight him because we know how this thing started. And we know when it is, and we know the warning. The warning came, the warning came, the warning. He refused. I don't know whether he got the message because we are embarrassed. The evangelist even, a lot happened that time. So, but God is faithful. When the incident started, we are talking about, we are talking about 10, 11 to 10 years ago. When that message came, you are going to face public embarrassment. You are going to face public exposure, a disgrace. This is how it's supposed to be. This is how you are to do this, what you to do. But unfortunately, the evangelist and the prophetess or whatever was disgraced and abused. So it's well, let's keep that one aside. So that is why when I see, when I saw, when I heard this all numerous scandals and whatever, whatever, I was not shocked. I was not surprised because I, I just, I quickly remember that message. For those people that say, eh, God is no longer speaking to his people. It's a lie. We still have genuine men of God. We still have genuine prophetess. We still have genuine prophets of God, of the Most High God. God sent message to his people. So now, child of God, what I want you to learn in this my teaching, as I told you, I don't want this video to be too long. Follow me as I follow Christ. And that is where I belong. You see some pastors today, I say, no, this man of God, he preaches well. He's a gentleman of God. Anytime that person stops following Christ, I will stop following him. That is the message I will drop. No, sir. You're no longer following Christ. I can't follow you. Because a false prophet knows that he's not going to heaven. How can I follow a man that is not going to heaven? As we said before concerning this miracle money of heaven, everybody knows that miracle money is fraud. There's nothing like that. There's nothing like miracle money, child of God. Is Yahoo business manipulation started by TB Joshua to Obat Angel? Obat Angel now modernize it now, direct that transfer to Suleiman. So, all those things are things when you see your pastor doing things that, that is not does not praise God. Please run, okay? Give him some time to repent. If you repent, if you refuse to repent, please run for your soul because of your soul. Your soul means a lot to God. You must not joke with anything that will tamper your soul. Anything that will affect your spiritual life must not be joked with. John 18, 12, Bible says, Jesus spoke again unto them and said to them, I am the light of the world. Ye that followed me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of the life. Be ye holy, for I am holy, says the safe hospital. So we must live life of holiness. Any pastor that has issue, you try to, if you try to bring the person up, no. Try to correct, no. Please, don't allow the person to stain you. Because association matters a lot. Show me your friend and I will tell you the type of person you are. You can't claim to be a gentleman of God and you are mingled with false prophets. You can't claim to be a gentleman of God and you are mingled with people that you know that these men of God are not genuine. No, sir. Apostle Michael Olobo says something one time. He says that he's, I may put this, the video here as well, okay? But if I couldn't put it here, 
I'm sorry, bear with me. He said that he mingled with false prophets so that he can transform their members. No, sir. No, sir. At least their members can hear his preaching and change. But me, I say no, sir, for that. Okay? Such association is dangerous for you. It's dangerous for your own for your own members as well. Because if your member sees you working with a false prophet, your member will start following that false prophet, thinking that that false prophet is a gentleman of God. It will not affect your members. You see now? So, we are in the era of social media. You don't associate with anything you see or anybody you see. There is power in association. A man is doing miracle money and you know that that miracle money is a sin before God. Yes, somebody will say, how is he a sin before God? Because it's fraud. Anything fraud is a sin before Almighty God. God is not involved. They do anything possible to cover that miracle money. Make it present it to look like gospel, which we know is another gospel. Apostle Paul says, in book of Galatians, he says, if any man preach any other gospel, even the angel, let him be a cause. If I preach any other gospel, which we know that that miracle money is, a, is a, another gospel. May I be a cause? That is what the Bible says. So, you don't associate with such people. Don't walk with them. That is the word of God. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11. He said, don't walk, don't join the, the full, full work of the darkness. Of the darkness. Rather, expose them. Instead of you to expose them, you are not mingling with them because of what you gain. That is deception. Because of what you are going to gain, you are not mingle with people that you know that this are darkness. It has nothing to do with Christianity. That what they are doing is not in the Bible, you are mingling with them because they have population. They have taken over media and you want to grow. You have to mingle with them, make so that they will be comfortable. Child of God, life is nothing. There is life after life. There is judgment after this world. We are just marketers on earth. On that judgment day, where will your soul be? Please, let it be your question always. Whether you have, if you start me, anytime you start me good with false prophets because of the, you want their members to join you, ask yourself this question. Where do I want to spend my eternity? Where do I want to spend my eternity? My eternity must not be joked with. I must not joke with anything that will affect my eternity. Don't be stained. Don't allow your body to be stained. You are mingled with false prophets. You are mingled with a man full of immorality. You are mingled and you want, you claim to be holy. I want to convert him. My brother, convert, stand outside and convert him. When you find out that he has been converted, please, you cannot mingle with him. He said, by Jesus, eat with sinners. Nobody says you should not, you should not walk with, you should not uh, call the person or discuss with the person. No. But mingle your, walking with the person as in, make the person your friend. And what about Apostle Paul? Apostle Paul says, uh, if I go to Rome, I behave like Romans. That is not in this area. He goes there, he preach Christ to them so that I can win them. No, sir. He goes there, he does not go there and be rapping with them. And that time, there was nothing like social media that the members or people that Paul converted will see Paul with them. The people that may see them with Paul may be people that, hey, but Jesus walk with, with sinners now. Yes. I do not say you should not talk to them or discuss with them, but you must not go to their altar to go and preach. It's dangerous because of your members. It's dangerous for you and your members as well. You can go there and contact demon. You can go there and contact their spirit. So you must come out from them. Don't join them. Okay? So for me, any pastor that is no longer going where you're going to, run for your life. Run for your life. Ladies came out and accused him. Me, I don't know why those ladies lied against him. Whether they said the truth, according to them, according to him, he said that uh, they were paid. So we, I don't know. This video has nothing to do with, yeah, he's not innocent. No, sir. This video has nothing to do with, uh, he's innocent. No, sir. This video has everything to do with what? Association. Power of association. You must not associate with anybody that is not going where you're going to. He must not associate with anybody that is no longer following Christ. He must not associate with anybody that is not that you know that this person is not pure. You can only associate with the person if you don't know that the person is not pure. 
Immediately you find out that this person is not pure, as a child of God, please run for your soul. You are not only to save your soul as a pastor, you are to save your soul and that of your members. Okay? So thank you guys for listening. Love you guys. Child of God, stay focused. See you next time. Bye.